All right, here we go. Episode 55, Strong and Petty here at Iron Age Gym. We're doing a special. Uh, th- this is like the, the crack of dawn for me. It's 10 a.m. in the morning, right? 10 a.m. in the morning right now. Um, we're on a little bit of a, a little bit of a limited time here, so we're going to get as much information as we can in a short period here. Uh, yep. I got to... <laughs> I have things that I normally do around 10 a.m. Around 11. <laughs> that, 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 that will happen whether I'm whether I'm in the right room or not. To be alive if you can't do that. It's not something that you can just make up about yourself. You have to you have to be able to show that you are as strong as you say you are. You have, if, especially if you're competing in strongman. Um, so we, <laughs> I'm here with, uh, with Devin Penner, the man, the training grounds, uh, patriarch and the guy who was our head referee for our novice competition this weekend at uh, the training grounds, novice showdown three. Yep. What a show. Couldn't have been any better. 30. I think we're still 36. I think we had all, some one uh, or two drop out, but yeah, we had we some extras. We had, couple, we had a couple people who couldn't make it, but I think that all told we still ended up with 30, between 34 and 36 people after the final head count. Either way, it was the most we ever had. Yeah, which is amazing. Yeah, and like we're, we're always like we're always striving for retention, right? We always want people to. Like, so we have our next one there, Battle at the Border Two. Yep, May twenty fifth, Elsie's Hotel in Tolstoy, back there. But we we always want to get as many people as we can to go from this novice competition into the regular competitions, and we actually had some success in a way that I wouldn't have guessed. Where uh, right now, so it's it's ten twenty at eleven o'clock. I have a girl who coming in here who was in the crowd. And wants to do strongman now. Come on. Yeah. Like she just was, she came with one of our, <laughs> you spilling yourself? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it ran, I'll try to catch it because it sits in my beard. <laughs> and I can usually do one of these and then it's, I can just. It's sip it out of your beard. Wipe it out. <laughs> <laughs> we, ran um, down my titties. Yeah. We, uh, so we were pulling people from, and, and, and one of our competitors, Owen, he's a new guy who just started going here. His girlfriend, uh, Said she watched it and she wants to give it a try too. As if. So it's just amazing. It's just like it's it's you it's it's such an infectious disease. Two of the three teenage boys are already signing up. Amazing. Why? I'm sure Mal- Malachi reposted it and I'm sure he said Boss yeah, was already in. Yeah. Malachi, um, is, yeah, he signed up. He's paid. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, so, so we're, so we're two of our go. boys are already in. Yeah, I love seeing that. We 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 had our first uh, our first teen division competitors. Not just the boys, but we had a girl too. Yep. Um, uh, Natasha was her name, I believe. Right. Natasha Sullivan. Man, I str- I had her listed as. Sabrina's sister. Yeah. And then I had a Natalie. Yeah. And then Natalie, th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she did great. She was she did she did so awesome. And all the all the young guys did awesome. Yeah. I know that we we picked we picked lightweights for those guys because I mean yeah. nobody wants the teens to zero in anything. Yeah, and we didn't think they would come out like that. And and honestly, they they surprised me. Yeah. I, I I have no problem admitting that we uh we went too light for those kids. Yeah. Um even the even the teen girl, uh, Natasha, yeah. like she she crushed the weights that we set. Yeah. Um now we know. Now we know, cause yeah, we I, I would I would put I would bump up the, the teen boys' weights a little bit, but like honestly, the, the when we when we set them, they seemed very appropriate. That's what I thought. Like and then it's, but it's so it's so hard to judge too, because it's like say I I would see Malachi struggling to get that weight on the log, and I'm like, yeah. okay, this is appropriate. But they're so fucking new, yeah, that he touches the log one more time, and he puts twenty pounds on it, and it's easier. You yeah. know what I mean? It's yeah. just like oh, miss the rep. The next time he gets eight, and you're like, well, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, we're I was really really happy to see all that, and the and the women's weights too, like. Way couple, too light. A, well, a couple people told us that they're like, "Oh, the weights were a little light." It's like these weren't light weights. No, just a couple of years. 2018-19, Two, those were comp weights for for our for our women. For our women, like besides Mara, but like for Anna yeah. and uh, Becca would have been back then. Yeah, those were our weights we were using. And it was just it, it just didn't strike me as being like super light or anything. Thirty four reps on the deadlift. Like, Thirty four reps on the deadlift. Well, I mean, Candice is a little bit of an outlier with that yes. one, but you know the the. The deadlift was insane. Like the farmers, every woman was like, I think it was like two seconds separated first and seventh or yeah. something like that. So it's like, obviously that's too light. But I mean, it, like I said, these these are weights that seemed appropriate. And, and, yeah. and, and but, but, you know, all that aside, I think that everyone was really happy. Just yeah, everyone had a good time. Everyone competed. Everybody got some numbers on the board. Everybody. There uh, was. Uh, Martin Demaroff took some fantastic pictures of everybody. If you yeah. haven't got, if you're an athlete who hasn't gotten pictures of it yet, I'm working on. I'm going through all the emails and sending out yeah, the link. Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're working. So if on you're that. an athlete that didn't get some of your email, some of you just sent me direct e transfer so I don't get the email. Yeah, um, send me your email and I'll send you all the pictures. Yeah. So we yeah. Uh, Martin did a great job with that. He's just doing it because he just loves to do it. So what a beauty! For that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Thrones crushed it with the live stream. Yep. And shout out to uh, to Power Hippo. Man. I sent him a message from so or, from Maxwell Strongman yep, page. So did I because he so he we were having an issue with uh, just like an inexperience issue where 
uh, the crowd was was much louder. That the mics the, the, we use these same mics for our stream. Yeah. So the mics that we were talking into here were picking up the crowd as much or more as they were picking up. Like you could hear me better than you could hear the commentators. Yeah. I was doing the MCing, um, and he just dropped the line in our, into our YouTube feed and was just like, "Hey, this is actually the way to just turn down the mics a little bit." Which he was the, watching our live stream. Yeah, yeah. It was just he's, and, he's, and he was just get the get the guys to talk a little closer to the mic and turn down their mics a little bit. No, there was a setting. Is that he, what it was? he told him to change something, and okay. then you couldn't hear. The, then the crowd was pretty much muted out. Whatever it was, it, it was it was just it was a uh, it, it and it really really changed the, yeah. the the quality of the stream for the yeah. better. Like it really really got better. Um, it was like the first one was like it was loud and it was kind of hard to hear what was going on and stuff. And then by the second or I think it was the second or third, he fixed it. Yeah, and it was just night and day. So thank you to Power Hippo. So, thank you to for them for their help with, with that. They're bear just, with us while we keep learning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. well, that, yeah. that's why we do. That's why we're. It, it might seem strange that we're. That we're streaming, say, like a, a charity novice comp, <laughs> yeah. or, we're, or we stream Deadlift for Dreams, or we stream the charity uh, log comp. The like, log, yeah. sorry, I meant to say I combined two yeah. things: there, the charity log and the novice competition. But that's why we're doing it, is so that we can practice these things and get them fixed and get them so that when we have bigger shows. Yeah. Um, like I'm sure that. Uh, we'll, do you think Thrones will be doing the, the Magnus comp? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a yeah. big show that we want to make sure that all the all the the wrinkles are ironed out of. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm very confident by that time Thrones is going to absolutely nail that one. Yeah, he's doing it. Yeah. Great so, job! Yeah, so thank you, thank you to them, yeah. thank you to all of our volunteers too. Like, the oh, man, that's sh- like I haven't had a show that ran that easy for me. I don't think so. Like, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even make the keep. I just told the guys the weights. Yeah, and I, I just refed, and it was my helpers. You know, yeah. Janae kind of maybe she's better than Brian. Maybe because <laughs> I had to tell Brian stuff sometimes. <laughs> Janae <Jenea> is <laughs> Janae is somebody who takes the reins. And knows exactly what has to be done. Yeah. Knows exactly how to do it. Um, she just, I, I really can't say good enough good things about her for all the help that she does for Man's yeah. Strong Strongman. And she's not somebody who wants a lot of recognition or, or notice no. for it or whatever, but uh, she really, really deserves it. And I, and I tell everybody uh, whenever we do a competition, like, please take the time yeah. to thank all the volunteers. Like, just yeah. walk around and just shake everybody who's wearing a volunteer shirt. And a couple of them did. They had yeah, pictures yeah. with the volunteers. Yeah. Like, it's just, um, it, it really goes a long way. But for somebody who's working their ass off, like Janaea, and I don't mean just Janaea, but I just, no. but she's somebody yeah. who's at every show. So yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use her as an example. Yeah. But, you know, the Grimolfsons. Um, Dan, Gord, yeah, Gord Martin. stepped up to ref, yeah, and he wants to. He's actually taking that ref seminar that uh, Sam and them just posted. Oh, great! Because he wants to. He's like, you know what? He 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 accomplished his national thing that he won. That was our main goal. We started. Sure. He's like now just pick and choose comps for fun. Love it. And just jump in with either the 105s or the opens, whatever I feel like doing that day. Yeah. And if not, he's like, I will show up to compete. If you need a ref, I won't compete. I love it. You, yeah. I, well, I, I mean, I always, I always want to see Gord compete. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but I I do like that we have this. We're getting this like quality of of guy. And girl, yeah. Who you know? We have Dan, who's now a pro. Yeah. So he can lend his his credibility to to refing our shows. We have Gord, who's the lightweight national masters yeah. champion. He can lay, lend some credibility. We have Jocelyn, who's the yeah. women's who helped. Masters. Danielle, they ran that thing. Yeah. The whole day. Like we we have yeah. all we have you know we have these people who when we have Jose Morneau, who's world's strongest woman competitor. Yeah. Like we have these people in our backyard yeah. who are now really exceptionally qualified. Yeah. Pat to, was there. Pat, helped out all day. Yeah. This is right. Yeah. I, I shouldn't. Farmer Pat. Pat. One of one of the or you know the best one hundred and five yeah. competitor in Manitoba ever. So yeah. the, we we have these guys who are Man, awesome. Cor- and yeah, Corey and Lane drove five hours just to volunteer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can sit here and then we can list every single person and and, yeah. and but know that we you know if you were there and you helped out, we really appreciate oh, it. Man. It really yeah. means a lot to us. And just to, to speak to how fast and how smoothly everything went, I, I I say to people like I said on the mic a couple times too. I really urge you if you're if you ever have the opportunity. Go to somebody else's show. Yeah. Go to a different show, and I and I'm and I'm not saying anybody specific because I know Saskatchewan runs there is great. Oh, they're phenomenal. You know, there's, yeah. there's people all over Western Canada that I yeah. know that run fantastic shows. But I've been to shows where I've sat where I we showed up, and from when I showed up until I until we did the awards thing and left, it was ten hours. <laughs> Which is now crazy. that's an extreme case. Yeah. But I'm saying it happens. It happens. And anybody who's competed for a while has been to those shows. Yep. So to have a show where it's thirty, let's say thirty five people. Um, and not only that, but all new people. Yes. Do you know what I mean? People who are who are learning as they're going, who yeah. are figuring out their equipment, who are figuring out what they have to yep. do and stuff. And to have it all, I think it, the whole thing took about th- three hours and 25 minutes, yeah. I think, was the time that we ended up yeah. with. We started a couple minutes late just getting rules meetings right. and just a couple of things, making sure the new competitors knew what right. they needed to get well, ready. A couple guys didn't know you had to show up early. for. Yeah. Like, so they show up at 11 because it says 11 yeah. start time, right? Yeah. So they don't know. So that's our fault there. Yeah. yeah. So we, so, but to have a show that ran that smoothly and that, that well, it's, it's a, it's a testament to our, our volunteers who like, you know, 
like Dan has like he's got like a sore back right now from he just got like, a little oh, dude could hardly walk in the building. Yeah, he he walk, <laughs> he 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 limped into the building and then he was the guy who probably as much as anybody else and and uh, there was a lot of guys doing it. But Mocha, like, yeah, yeah, carrying like every sandbag, every rep, bringing yeah. it back for these guys, and it was just we we cannot thank you guys enough for yeah. that. It really it really really yeah. Nice yeah. Him and Bushi just. Every sandbag over the shoulder, running it back. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Corey, they were all doing this. Yeah, good, good was, conditioning. I didn't. I didn't even have to. The nice thing is they've seen so many shows, and we, we've created such a a family or an atmosphere, or a, you know, that they just they know what to do. Bushy's helped on a bunch of shows already, yep. um, so he just knows. I I want things done this way. He's the same way. He likes things done a certain way, mm-hmm. and it just rolls. It really helps that a lot of our a lot of our volunteers. Uh, whether they're a man or a woman, they're a man's man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> yeah. like it's like they they work they work real jobs like this. Yeah, they understand that like efficiency yeah. and 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 being quick and being like uh, you know on point, like being exactly where you have to be when you yeah. when you should be there is really really important. Well, and, and like Clint came out, he didn't compete, but he had Clint brought was, yeah he raised, brought that whole brick off screw and he was coaching them all yeah. and helping them and you know it was yeah. nice to see like guys like Jan, Emmadale. I mean, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss a bunch of you. Ryan, Fraser, and Ariel both come out. I should admit, they come out before eight in the morning. They were there, cleaned yep. up my gym with me. Yep. We had gosh up at eight. We emptied all the gym out. Um, I know we're probably going to miss a volunteer, and that's not meant. But it's uh, Nate. Let, let, Nate, Nate was very helpful yeah, too. Yeah, you know, big baby there. I we I, I really do want to take a moment too to shout out uh, the Forge and Brickhouse. Uh, Brickhouse had a whole big cheering section there. Dude, huge. Yep, I Je- love, love seeing that. The amount of competitors that compete outside of the like our regular competitors, the amount that showed up and traveled hour and a half, two hours, sure. up to six hours yeah. just to come help was I couldn't believe it. Yeah. For I a novice it. show. I loved it. I love yeah. I, I love seeing the the guys come out and you yeah. know we had Jesse and Jan and Em and all the guys in the crowd watching yeah. and cheering people on and their their partners were there and stuff. And it's just it's really nice to see that. It's really nice to see people who just come out and give a shit. You know I, what I mean? I looked and, at one point and I think I had counted seventy people. I didn't get through the whole crowd. I guarantee you at some point we were between eighty and hundred people watching. Yeah, it was great. Plus spectators. I figured we'd probably had about with helpers and spectators close to 150 people in that I would say in so. my small little shop. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. And um we the forge for being a brand new gym, having four people, also uh three guys and a girl. And the girl won. And the girl wins. I didn't know where the heck she the, the woman won. The Sorry. woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we should be careful. My bad. Yeah, the way but she the way she competed, I'm she, gonna make sure she, I call yeah, her I, woman. I, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to be diminutive to her in any way because yeah. she was absolutely crushing it. Like uh, came out of nowhere. I didn't even. She had followed the page. I'm like, oh, her, her Instagram's like, hey, Aaron. I'm like, yeah. Look at her profile. I'm like, oh, she's like an outdoorsy type girl. I'm like, yeah, but yeah. nothing really much about lifting. A little bit. Yeah. And then she's up and 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 won by a margin. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't believe it. Well, it was funny because I was looking at the sheets. And I didn't want to tell it to her because I was like, I don't want her to get nervous. Or whatever. But I was like, I think that this is this is Kelly's to win. I think. Yeah. And I was like, and I said, barring there being somebody that a I'm dark not horse. aware of, yep. yeah, I think yep. this is Kelly's to win. And yep. then sure enough, here comes this Aaron, this woman I've never met, never heard of before, yeah, who just obliterates it. And and that that being said, like uh, we had uh, Kelly in second. And Abby from Sti- Snap Steinbach in third, who yeah. also just had a great show. Yep. Like all three of them were just really. And I th- I'm, I'm hoping they all three will into Tulsa. Kelly's already signed up. Okay, and I think Abby is signing up. Tremendous. And I was bugging that Aaron girl to sign up after yeah. the show. I'm like, are you doing it again? Well, yeah. I'm like, you you need to be doing. This. I was talking to her too, and I and I'm really trying to push people to, you know. For, for the novices, it might seem a little soon to do Tolstoy, although it's not, and I think that you should do it. But it might feel a little soon. Yeah. Um, but really, like, we have 12 weeks right now from from this week until Vita. That's huge. That's the the perfect time. You yeah. don't want any more time than that, and you and you, and le- and you could go down to all the way to eight, but yeah. you uh, that's the perfect time to get pre- pre- uh, prepared yeah. for a competition. Yeah, I think we're seven weeks out of, or six weeks out of, Seven weeks out of Tolstoy, and then five weeks after that is Vita. I think we're even a little less out of Tolstoy than that. Are we? Yeah. I think we're. I think we're. April, five today? or six right now. Twenty fifth. Yeah. Um, Maybe six weeks. Yeah. Probably. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's so it's it's coming right up, and I can understand if someone's like, "Well, wow, that feels yeah. really soon," especially when we have like technical things like a circus yeah. dumbbell and stuff. I I get it. But I mean, you look at the division we had. Then no, I'm the teen girl. I wish there was more girls because she yeah. had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then her her sister was there, and her dad, who I just called Papa McMullen. Yeah. I didn't even put his even our score sheet was just Papa McMullen. Yep, he was, and he loved it. And he was Dude great. was sixty one years old then. Yeah, I love I love seeing that. We we, um, had, we had an older guy last year too. Yep. And yes, just, that smaller yeah, he was yeah, a skinnier the, the guy. CrossFit guy. Yep. And it was just great to see that. That guy was all taped together, I think. Yeah. 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 Shit he did good. Yeah, it was really it was really nice to see that. Teen like, boys. I was excited about the teen boys. For one, my wife's well, not my nephews, my cousin, my first cousin, but Bosco. Right. So I had a little bit of you know, 
biased towards the guys, sure. just like you had Malachi with and Chris sure. was here, and it was great. So I had a bit of I'm like, man, I hope he does well. Yeah. And I made sure I didn't coach or ref those divisions, just to make sure there was no like, hey, you know, it's yeah, the first yeah. team one, and then Devin's guy wins or something. I didn't want right. so I'm like, Gord, you're taking the woman right. and and the and the team boys. I'll run all the men. Right. Um. So there's no bias in that. And uh, it will be posted, but uh, so James Weary, there were three boys, James, Malachi, and Bob. So James had the day of one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was going to the last year. I'm like, man, something's not right with these times. And there was a time entry error on, uh, on the farm left medley right. by like a 1.3 second time second error um, that was entered wrong um, for Bosco. So he actually went from a 14.3 or something like that to under 13 on the run, right. which actually puts him in the first place. Right. So I know James won't be happy because they were one point apart. Yeah, um, those, those things. We're I mean, not taking prizes back. No, no. Like, no. it is. I talked to Boss. I'm like, hey, man, you don't get a prize, but you got first. Yeah. He's like, I don't care. I just, I, I enjoyed competing. Yeah, and that's and yeah. that's the thing. Like, it's, there's, you know, it's, yeah. there's, when there's three, three guys in the division, yeah. every event is going to be, no. is going to matter like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So a very small decision can really affect the, or a small mistake like that can affect the whole thing. Yeah. And, you know, that's the way And that happened. It was, it was, we stole the time, Joss Wright's time, Daniel Enter's time, and it was like, it might even been like thirteen oh four to fourteen oh four. Just someone put a four where a three was just supposed to be. Just telephone game. That's yeah. all. Of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it was, uh, which is why we 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 do have system plates to make sure it doesn't happen. But shit happens. So sometimes it slides through the cracks. Like yeah. That. And it's, especially when we're trying, like, so when we're doing, say, like Manitoba's strongest man, our goal isn't to make it as fast as possible. No. I'll admit that our goal was to make this this competition go as fast as possible yes. for the crowd, for the athletes, for yeah. everybody, for the volunteers. Yeah. So when we have Manitoba's strongest man and woman, or we have provincials or whatever it might be. We make sure that we have that we're not rushing things. Yeah, oh, I've got the timer. I've got rep yeah, counters with yeah. me. Then they go to it'll be Joss and or she'll be competing. So it'll be a girl, probably Janae or someone at the table who writes it down and then transfers the else. So we got four different avenues right. to make sure this doesn't happen. Right, exactly. Um, which which will be which will be cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward. And to And I realize at this event I need to buy clickers. So Danielle ordered them ready. Oh, I got I, like I, I fucking have like rep four. clickers counters. I got, I got like four yeah. Ready. We are like thirty some reps. Gord's like doing this with his hands. Like yeah. I lost it. I don't know how many times I've done five. I've always, <laughs> I've always had a bunch of them because I would take them home from bouncing, oh. from counting the door. Oh, and shit. I was like, well, I'm never gonna throw them out because these are too, they're too heavy to throw out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they feel like they're worth, they're worth something. They are. So I have like five in the gym here right now. Oh, I was just here. Yeah, put that order through. <laughs> anyway, shit. Well, now we'll have a whole bunch. But the man's open. Yeah. I am excited for Manitoba's yeah. men's open division. Yeah, absolutely. Never mind that. Like, I don't know who that guy was who got uh, third. Uh, Schwickert? Florian Schwickert? Florian Schwickert. So he's a, he's a cornerstone. He's a power lifter. Okay. I wasn't expecting. I don't know a lot of these guys. Um, yeah, he, sure, he sure built like a Yeah. On my, on my personal Instagram, I don't follow anybody. Right. I follow. And, and people, people follow me, but I generally only follow, like, guys who are, I need to learn from business, guys right. I need to learn from a coaching and then a couple of my really, really, really close friends. That's all I follow, just because sure. my feed gets blown up. Sure. The Matt So Strong page, I follow these guys, but I don't always get to go through all the stories. And sure. It just takes time. So this guy's coming out. I think he, I, don't, I haven't seen him to be super active on social media. No, anyway. but I was surprised that even our top seven guys or eight guys were all very close. Yeah. Um, it was, especially when you're when you're drawing for 20 or 22 points per event. Well, that's the thing. It was like, a, it was every, if you did poorly on one event, it really yeah. threw the whole thing for a loop. Because there was a few times where. Ladanian. Yeah. Third place going to the last event, half a point behind Brian. Yeah. Should have secured third, no yeah. issue. Yeah. Hurt his foot there. Yeah. Uh, only got up to seven stairs. Yeah. Almost everybody got nine stairs. Dropped him down. Luckily, only dropped him to fourth. Yeah. yeah. But it dropped him 17 points. Yeah. It was very, one event. Very or 16 points. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, was it was huge. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the I think that I think that next year, you and I would both be a little more, a little more stingy about what constitutes a novice. Yeah, <laughs> let's face it. Our top, our top five weren't novices. Minimum, maybe our top seven. I would. Okay, here's 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 my thing. Is because yeah. I've been thinking about this. I would say the the and th- and this is to explain our logic behind this is that if you haven't competed in strongman, you're, you're a novice. novice. Yeah, that's a, that's our thinking behind it. And, and we yeah. want and the thing is that we want um, guys to have the opportunity to experience a strongman competition because it's not the same as powerlifting. No, and it's not the same as if you if you have a hockey background or whatever. Like you can be athletic and you can be strong or you play football or whatever. Yeah, but it's not the same. So we want to have guys have that experience before they jump in. Like let's say, um, like it might seem silly to have like Langelar doing uh, a novice competition when he signed up for westerns later yeah. in the year. But the idea is that that we, I don't want westerns to be his first competition. Well, that was the same. We had the same Langelar, Brian. And Ladane Yank was just dabbling for shits and giggles. Yes. Um, but Langler and Brian, they, they had no business being in there. Well, and that's and like that's, in terms of in, in hindsight. In, in hindsight, in terms of how well they did. Right. 
the only reason the reason I, we led it this year because we want them to get because they're going to roll into these comps and roll right. into nationals. Right. Let's get them as much comp experience as we can. Yes, absolutely. That, that's the idea. We weren't giving prize money anyways. No. Um, you didn't get a trophy. It no. was just it was just a fun show. Yeah. So here's some comp experience on how a fast comp runs and how you need to be ready. Yeah. And here's some holes in your game. Yeah. I've always I've always done the novice competitions like the way that when I did my first novice competition, which was we didn't get a trophy. We got a tub of protein. Yeah. To show that hey, we appreciate you coming out and everything. Yep. Um, the uh, the whole like pomp and circumstance of it is kind of downplayed a little bit. Yeah. Because I think it's important that you understand that this is a, a novice competition. Yeah. And I don't think that it does anybody any good to hold on to that too long. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like to be like too. I I, I, I want to be careful how I word this. Is I'm not saying don't be proud of of winning or doing well in novice competition. No. I'm no, not saying that. No. But I'm saying that if you if you intend on furthering yourself in strongman, you can't hold on to that for too long. Yeah. Um, nobody, nobody's going to give a fuck when you're your second or third year in and be like, oh yeah, by the way, I won my, uh, my novice competition. Like, <laughs> yeah. be like that's great, dude. Like yeah. whatever. Yeah. So that's, that's something that I want, that we want to keep in mind with this is that it's not, yeah. it's, it's, it's competition, but it's as close. If, if we're looking at the, ex- the, at the, the spectrum of exhibition to competition, it's just slightly further into that competition thing. Yeah, and, and really look, we had guys take a zero on the log. Right. And we had guys like Langlo who got, I don't know, 50 16, or 70. I think, and yeah. it was literally because they're just. There wasn't enough time to clean and press it from the ground right, fast enough to get times. any more reps yeah, in 60 yeah, seconds. Yeah. It was like the deadlift. They just couldn't lift it any more times right. at the time limit. So I'm, th- I'm, th- I'm thinking that next year. And then like, we had guys taking zeros. Right. Yeah. So and, and, those, and, that's, and that shows that we had, we had appropriate weights, but not appropriate competitors in all cases. Yeah. So like, let, let's just say, like, look at our top three. Like Langlar, I would say no. Next, like, next year, if, if we have a carbon copy of Langlar show up, I'll say, hey, your first show is going to be Tolstoy. It's going to be very appropriate yeah. for you, and you're going to do very well in it. Yeah. Um, same with Brian. Yeah. Brian's different because he's never competed in anything. That's, that's where, yeah, that's he's where never done powerlifting. Him. Right. He's never done it. His first time competing was the Thunder Bay bench press comp we did. Right. So he's somebody that I would give a little more yeah. leeway on that. Yeah. And then if I was to go to, say, Florian, kind of probably the same deal. It's like, hey, man, like, you're pretty strong. Like, I think yeah. you would do well in, say, like a, um, the Tolstoy one. And then Ladanian, the only reason that I would give Ladanian a pass is that he's 21. Yes, he's twenty one. He just happens to be strong, strong, and then, yeah. and so, but he still has like you know the the nerves and and mentality that comes with being a twenty one year old kid when you're, yep. when you're doing something new and everything, right? So I would give him a pass on that. Um, Did he hurt his foot? He uh, he says it's be- it's already getting better. He just oh, he okay. just twisted something and and whatever. So oh, that's what it was. He's planning on maxing out his deadlift on Thursday, so it's it's not that bad. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, Thrones is hoping he gets a seven fifty pull for that one. So, Shit, yeah, but. That was something that we would consider for next time. Would be what what constitutes a, a novice, um, and because yeah. we just we what I what I really don't want is for someone like say um, like I think of my guy here Ruben who went I did he did really well and I'm very very proud of him. Um, he's a novice. Yeah, he's new to the idea of strength training. Yep, he's new to the idea of strongman competing, all that stuff. He got a few reps with everything. Was like right in that sweet spot of where you'd want it to be for a novice like that big dude out of the forge. Great guy was like what six foot. Yeah, six. I don't know. That was yeah, a monster. He's a huge kid. But needs to grow into his body in right. terms of strength wise, and he, right. he I think he took some zeros. Yeah, I think he, he did, took a zero on the log. Two, two, deadlift and log. Yeah, yeah. and uh, what's my kid? This is a guy who give him three years. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah if he if he if yeah. he actively chases not this. three to five, I'll be CSM years. <laughs> three. <laughs> years. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy. <No. laughs> um, but uh, he's a guy that you know if he sticks to it. Yeah. He's gonna. He's he's yeah. he's a big body. Yeah. You just need to grow into. I don't know how old he was, but he's he's young. Yeah, he's he needs young. to grow into that body yeah, in terms yeah. of muscle yeah. and just. Yeah, he's just a little soft right now. Yeah, so, like yeah. just stability. You the can tell he's a little there. wobbly. The, the bones are yeah. there. He's just got to. Yeah, he's got what the things that I wish. That, like the size, I you know that's pretty cool to have that. Just high, his the ceiling of potential is very high. Yeah, if he, if so, he sticks with it. And that's the thing. we can go through a whole list of competitors, and you can start listing off different guys and things that stood out and. And uh, there's always those couple lists that stood out to everybody, you know, deadlifts for deadlifts, you know, but it's, yeah, yeah you're going to miss people and they're going to be butthurt. But. Right. Um, just to shift gears a little bit away from, from the novice to the, the pro circuit, congrats to Tristan Hoth. Holy shit. First place in his SCL uh, debut. And not even, for, you see the point gap? Yeah, uh, a, a crushing. He, I think he could he took, could have took a zero in the last event and still won. I would, wouldn't doubt that. I'm he, pretty sure. He, he won the last three events. Uh, he won three out of five events. Yeah. And... Uh, Man, like just like talk the, about a guy who skyrocketed. Yeah, like dude, I can't believe I ever beat him. Like, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that like when I say that I beat Jeffers, I mean that I fucking beat Jeffers. Spanked yes. Jeffers, and, and Jeffers, I'll, I'm sure even wore his suit. Yeah, his suit. <laughs> he will we'll never ever forget that moment where I beat Jeffers. 
But Tristan was just like, I think he must have just been having a really off day that day. That didn't make sense. <laughs> that's just like, he's so fucking good. Like, Jeffers just wasn't good yet. Tristan <laughs> Tristan was good, like, the day after. Oh, we, harp I, on, we harp on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan was good the day after I beat him. Yeah. So I'm thinking he must have just had a, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe because I didn't really know Tristan at that point. Yeah. So maybe there was something that I wasn't aware of in terms of, like, an injury or yeah. something. Cause, well, you know, I, is Holst doing Westerns? Yeah. Okay, that's because him and Jeffers are always back and forth. Well, yeah. That's so me. the thing is, Tristan's getting this big publicity now because he's getting these invites to these SEL right. shows and, right. and lengthening these gaps between guys. And, and you got a guy, Jeffers, who's like, who could be there with him in those shows? Right. And I wonder how it would shake up. Yeah. I, 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 think, so, that, I, think, that Je- I think that if, if Jeffers would have done that competition, yeah. I think it's entirely possible he would have gotten second place. And it's kind of like an auto set out of mind. Well, you weren't there. So sure. now it makes Tristan look like miles For ahead. Sure. But it. It's gonna, man. I'm excited for Tristan. Tristan's I really in, am. In very visible competitions right yeah. now. Yeah, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't. I, I feel with the way he's doing, he should get a WSM invite to the well. There's to the qualifiers. That's been there's been a lot of buzz about that. Yeah, because there's been a lot of dropouts. Yeah. So Kieliszkowski dropped out. Lisa's Lisa's has dropped out. There's right now. I think there's three open spots. Three yeah, or, three or four even maybe, open spots in um in worlds, and so. What people are pointing to is like, oh, well, Europe's Strongest Man is coming up. There's only four guys at Europe's Strongest Man who aren't already invited. Yeah. So. Holst we, won Magnus. Right. Just won the Cessio show. Yeah. Where else did he get a win there recently? Man, right. He, but that there should get you at least an invite to the qualifier. Well, I, I think that I, you know, like I said, there's, he's, it's a nice thing that we have such a strong uh, community in, in not just Western Canada, but Canada as a whole. Because when you see somebody post... Um, like, hey, who do you think should be the 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 sub or whatever yeah. you want to call it, the, the the person brought in? We see a lot of Lucas Hatton, and we see a lot of Tristan Hoth. And really, we have a lot of pull on this podcast. Absolutely, in the yes. world yeah, scene, that's, that's worth pointing out. So by out us too. suggesting that Hoth should be there, he's probably going to get the. Index. I will. I will be pulling out the old Rolodex and hitting up Colin Bryce and saying to him, "Hey, yeah, you really should consider this kid, Tristan Hoth. He's, sure. he's really got something." Because we know he tunes in. He's a regular. He always sends me <laughs> pictures and, and and mostly feet pics. Yeah, he's always sending me weird memes that I don't <laughs> that I, racist memes that I don't find funny. <laughs> Not Tristan, the WSM guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The w, uh, I mean, I, Colin, I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this. I right mean, now, Colin so Bryce. We'll yeah. Stop right now. But but <laughs> but but, uh, but Tr- Tristan is a guy where he's gonna he's he's making noise. He's doing it in very visible ways, and um, I I don't think it's the, the craziest thing to think that there could be one more Canadian. Look at little Zachy boy. I don't think it's the craziest craziest thing to think there could be one more Canadian in, coming into uh, World's Strongest Man. No. Um, and even if and if it's not Tristan, you know. Simone Pratt, Canada's Strongest Man, is still not invited. I think my, my chair is dying. You are. Yeah, you've been saying <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting progressively lower. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it, but, but congrats to Tristan again on that one. Yeah. And, and, I, and we really, like, just. Just remember, he was not famous till he was on Strong and Petty true. Podcast. That's That's a great point. Right before he did the Magnus competition was when he did the, uh, the Strong yeah, and Petty he's Podcast. He's lucky I even gave him the invite for we that. Get, we gave him the old bump. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely wow! I never really thought about that. He really yeah. owes you a lot, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, just remember that, Tristan. Wow, how's Tristan. your boy? And I'll say too that I'm friends with Devin, so <laughs> you owe me a lot too. Honestly, <laughs> interesting, very yeah. interesting. Oh shit! Um, do you want to get into Manitoba's strongest? Yeah, bit? yeah. Let's get in Manitoba's strongest. Okay, so um, we, so right now, just to recap a little bit, we have. Um, do you have any specific order plan for the three events? That Not, we yet. Have? No, Not yet. No. Okay, so we'll say no specific order. We have Max Circus Dumbbell. I think that's safe to say that'd be the first one. You'll yep. have to do the Max Circus, yeah. right? Max Circus Dumbbell, Car Bench Press, which is I'm still very excited for that. I know I'm not going to do particularly particularly well in it compared to some guys, but I am excited that we're doing that one. Yeah, and uh, a Super Yoke. Yes, which is going to be. Oh, I'm, I'm ex- it's going to be heavy. Yeah, it's going to be heavy. So um, it should be. I don't know. I haven't set the weight yet, but it's there's not going to be any less than 800 pounds. I think that 800 pounds is a good number for it. Yeah, Westerns is nine. Okay, and. Um, I th- I'm trying to look at. I have it written on the board there. I think CSM was like nine fifty or nine seventy. Yeah, so or it'll like probably that. be eight hundred. So safe bet was we'll say keep keep that and keep that in mind. Well, yeah. So we said the last time that we're gonna we're gonna run through our events and then we're gonna start attaching weights, weights. to them. Yeah. Um, but why don't do you? You said you have them both figured out. Do you want to do them both? Right yeah, now, let's do, do them both. Yeah, okay. I got I got the next two for it. I was even debating. I might you know. We'll see how the day goes. You might even get a six mystery event the day of that I just throw in. Holy smokes! We'll okay. see. Might be five. Might be six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the final two. We'll say let's let's say the the fourth event. Yeah. For Manitoba's strongest man and woman, twenty twenty four is Atlas Stone head to head. Ooh, Atlas Stone head to head. That was a really fun one last year. Yeah. No, was, no, like no, no. It's gonna be 
I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna I'm gonna make two complete stone runs, top oh to God. bottom. It's gonna be five stones. It's gonna be on a flat. I'm gonna I'm just gonna bolt platforms on my flat deck trailer, okay. and you'll be on either side. It will be head to head load, like to do WSM style. Amazing. You're gonna get yeah. all the stones made. Yeah, I talked to Del- <laughs> I talked to Dallas. Where it's like, well, let's start making them. Let's just we can make two or three evening with the girls in the garage, I can help and we'll make uh, we'll make two full runs of stones from our smallest mold. Yeah. To our biggest mold, all the way in the 400s, and we're going to make two complete runs. So I'll have 30 or 40 freaking stones by the time I'm done all my stones. Holy smokes. Heck with it. I love it. That's yeah. amazing. So that's going to be really, really fun. We, uh, yeah, me and Devin, uh, along with Danielle and, and Jeanne, sat in your garage many yeah. a night making stones there. Like when we, when we first started putting this together this uh, Strong Manitoba stuff. Yep. Uh, it's fun to do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gord's actually come down this Saturday. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, okay, he's yeah. like, can I make some? So we're going to do uh, fill the kegs. He's got seven, and I got two extra empty ones. Right. So we're going to fill the cakes and make 20 pound increments from 80 pounds to 350. Okay. So we have like 20 it. pound increments of all the cakes. What's the what's the lightest stone that people should expect from Manitoba Strong? <sighs> well, you know, yeah, I guess we'll have teen because I got that 40 pound it stone. It would just be open, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the men. If, if Bosco and Malachi want to jump in on Manitoba Strong, man, yeah. hey, all the power to um, them. There's going to be, I would say, the lightest stone is going to be just under 300. Okay, I like it. Yeah. That seems, that seems perfectly yeah. reasonable. Yeah, and, and, and I would like to go up to the heavy stone going to be somewhere around the 400 pound mark. Love that, it. That literally may be the top... Four at best are finishing. Maybe. Does Pat have a 400 pound stone in him, you think? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, with some practice. So, me, I, I, you, I, I would expect Langlar. Langlar could practice. He Dan. He's a good stone loader. Dan. Pat, um, Brian, I don't have him test him on stones. Him. He's got those big grill arms, though. Yeah. Uh, who else are open that we're not, that we're over? Corey's gone now. 400 is a big stone. Dude's massive. Yeah. So, it's, if, if, we're not, if yeah. we're not listing you in this, don't take it as a slight. Yeah. There's just, always some guy who's good at stones that's not good at anything else that makes no sense. Right. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have a, we have that one. And then the last event, in no particular order, but the last event to be announced, Manitoba Strongest Woman, and man, is yep. that, that's a weird order, uh, 2024. Arm over arm. Arm over arm. Uh-oh. That's why Pat was practicing arm over arm. No. Nope, the I bias just... shows. <laughs> the favoritism shows. Dan, Langelar, everyone else, <laughs> remember that forever. If Pat wins, it's because he got one more session in than we did. So I'm driving here, literally. I left the office. I'm driving here. I'm like... I called you. I'm like, I still don't have the events figured out for MSM. She's like, okay, what do you want? So she's like, I'm just, you know, I'm like, I want to see a stone load. I hate stones. It's, I hate them. I absolutely hate them. But I'm like, it's the pinnacle of straw man. Yeah, for sure. It's stones. For sure. And she's like, okay, so you have bench, you have circus, you have yoke. She's like, you have nothing grip related to any bit. I'm like, okay, could do it. Could do a hold. Could do a Hercules hold. We did it last year. You know, we, we had the hardest put one bad last year. And she's like, why don't you throw arm over arming? It's grip oriented. It's conditioning oriented. It always mixes up the pack. So this is her stress. Like, I think you just throw an arm over arming. Fuck you, Danielle. Arm over arm it is. Yeah. And yes, did we trade on Sunday? Yes, we did. So maybe that's why I was on my mind. Okay, so then that yeah. means no, that means that next weekend we all get to go out there and pat us to stay home. Or he has to stand <laughs> and watch while we do it. That's only fair. And give tips. Yeah, no, he can sit there with his fucking mouth shut. Because he, he got he he lost a whole at Magnus by a couple seconds. Yeah, he's good at it. He got so. second at that. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so those are your, those are your five events. <laughs> over the next couple of weeks, we'll start announcing weights for everything. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, some of them you already know, right? So we got the max, whatever your max is. Yeah. Uh, the car, we said probably around 300-ish would be the number, right? Yeah, for bench, yeah. So th- do, you want, do you want to just say 300? Yeah, it's going to be around 300. 300. Yeah. We'll have to do it with scales. It's going to be bec- – I think it's going to feel like more like pressing on a Smith machine, to be honest with you, because it's on the lever, here's, and here's, the Smith always a, runs back a bit. Here's a question that I have for you. Um, are you imagining it like a floor press or like a bench? Like- no, I'm taking my fat pad off my bench, Okay. put it on the ground, and it'll be a to-the-chest press. So how do you manage that for so it's, let's say for a guy like Dan who's a lot thicker than say a guy like uh well, I don't know okay let's just say that there's competitor A who's got a chest this wide and competitor B's got a chest this wide how do we count for that in terms of the leveraging just like the distance from the chest like you're saying starting position yeah I'll just put on different blocks oh okay yeah I'll just have different blocks of different just heights mats or whatever yeah I might even do a jack system where you just jack it up to so, the starting point and then pull the jack so it'll stop like right above your chest is the idea like it'll hit the ground. No, 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 no. It's going to hit your chest. It's not hitting the ground. So what's uh, what's the safeties involved with that? Guys on the side. Okay. You're going to have spotters. Okay. You fail, they'll lift it up. Got it. Okay. It's 300 pounds. Yeah. No, that's reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Um, so 800-pound yoke uh, for what kind I of... I still have to do logistics. That is a concern of mine. I have to make sure where no one's getting hurt. Because I think that what yeah. you could do is if you just have the starting point be there... I don't know. We have to figure something out for that. Yeah. But I I'd rather have guys hit their chest than smash their elbows into pavement. Fair. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, yeah. we'll we'll figure we'll figure that we'll figure the logistics of that and get yeah. that announced to you guys. But neo neo sleeves only. Yeah. 
bitches. Oh, really? No, no triple fly? No. Okay, I like it. That's fine. I don't wear triple fly. Anyway. I want to see guys with benches. I, I, SBD, SBD doesn't make triple flies. They so don't? I can't, I can't wear them. So see, because even the pros don't need that bullshit. <laughs> oh, I have my own. SBD degree. doesn't make deadlift suits either, but look at us go. <laughs> Um, so then, sorry, what did we just not the stone run? It'll be something, yeah. something to something. It's going to be five stones averaging all the way down to 48 inch platform. Okay. So sub 300 to around four for yeah. the men. And then for the women, uh, TBD, I, we, yeah, two sir. I, I apologize to the women that we don't know the weights off the top of our heads. We like haven't that. had we're, a, we're just still figuring it out ourselves. Yeah. We so. haven't had a ton of women who've done a ton of stones like this. Is, the women's division that is exploding, right. but we don't have a lot of experience in it yet. Yeah. I would yeah. love to see it go up to about 300 pounds. Yeah. I was going to say, I was thinking it'll probably start around 180. Yeah. And then roll, ramp up somewhere closer to 300. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Um, and then we have a arm over arm, which will just be what, like a truck. Is that what we're yep. thinking? Or, yeah. yeah. Like the, because we did it before at Manitoba. So yep. same, same kind of deal? Yep. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Expect to be heavy. I expect guys to not finish. Okay. Um, maybe they'll sink in the pavement. Maybe it won't. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out, <laughs> won't we? Yeah, that's right. Okay. I was imagining it in my head being this, this being at Grunthal again, but it's not. It's going to be at this Morris. Morris. So yeah, where we, where we came we will, to the pavement we last time. We'll really, really try to make sure that doesn't happen again. We this came time. the asphalt. Yeah, but we. Uh, that was crazy. That was fucking nuts. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. We'll make sure, yeah. that's, we'll make sure that's not the case. Well, just to touch, like, so all the guys, you know, a bunch of my training partners call me pussies the last two weeks about my pec tear. Oh, yeah, that's right. One I was all butthurt. Yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, you should be in more pain. And I had, like, almost no bruising. Right. And I'm like, okay, so I, I'll start. You, you still, there's still nothing. Still not, I had just a little bit of yellowing and a little bit of, per- I'm like, okay, this is, like, I look at Heineken because I look at all these guys, I'm like, they bruise bad. And I guess there's a full tendon tear. Mm. So I did get my results back yesterday. And, uh, I got to go see the surgeon this week. So whether I take the surgery or not, they say that's my choice. Uh, but they say I've got a – man, the doctors talk. They're smart. And they talk fast. I talk fast. They talk fast. But they're smart. But they talk fast with big words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like – explains to me. I'm like, hey, whoa, I need to get this right because i got a podcast to tell us on. <laughs> and he's like yeah, – I'm like, did the tendon tear? He says, no. Okay, so why do I need surgery? It's like I got a, a one-inch gap in the muscle. So there's a big hole. And it's where the muscle and the tendon tie in. He had said, I'm going to get this wrong. So he said it'll heal, it'll, it'll, it could heal on its own, but I'll never bench what I was benching. Right. I'll never get back the strength that I want. Little like, th- they don't know that you have a little thing called the Widowmaker. Yes. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not only going to bench 800 <laughs> with a torn. So they say they're, I'm going to go see a surgeon. It's not for sure. Um, but it's looking like I may get surgery. Okay. And then uh, whatever that recovery is like. Okay. So I'm not a pussy. <laughs> Not a pussy, guys. Yeah. Stop calling him that. Make sure you don't send him messages. Do make not sure send me messages. Make sure you don't leave comments in the YouTube video <laughs> calling Devin a pussy. Otherwise, he'll get really upset. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, that was that. So, what do we got for time? Well, we're getting pretty oh, we're st- yeah. here. Yeah, we still got. Yeah, you got a client. We ran low. We had some computer issues with our, you know, if, if, if it's not the camera dying, if it's not something dying, yeah. our freaking USB cord shorted out and stopped working. We sat here about 25 minutes. I'm fighting well, with this why thing. Why isn't this working? And then we just changed the cord. And change works. cord. Works perfect. Yeah. So, so that's the stupid. We're, we're we're good at some stuff and not good at other stuff. So, <laughs> but we look good. But we always look good doing it. Look at this beard. <laughs> that's gonna make this swishing sound on the <laughs> yeah, front of it. Yes. Take, wait, grab it and, and paintbrush it. See if it makes a sound. That'll make a gross sound. Okay, <laughs> so what I'll, what we'll do is here to uh, to put a little bow on this oh, one. Jeremy Ween's realty. Oh, well, we can't possibly wrap up you until guys, we discuss our man. We can't stop without talking about Jeremy Ween's. No. Realtor. What's going on in the world of Ween's? You know what? He didn't call me today. Surprising. He calls me every time we have podcasts for some reason. You guys, you guys have pretty constant contact. Yeah, he called me yesterday. We chatted. Yeah. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're still working on... Uh, How's the weight loss thing going? Good. Has that started like officially? Yeah, because yeah, okay. we made that deal that we got to run a 5K. Right. And uh, he joined a boxing gym in Bolger. So he's, that, that weight's going to melt off. Yeah, he's like, I, I need to make sure. I'm, like, he's like, I don't want to run 5Ks. <laughs> <laughs> For one, let's face it. Neither me or him are running a 5K. No, a but 5K. I don't want to fast waddle no, a 5K. No. The chafing would yeah. be unreal. So he's uh, he's doing good. He's doing good. Do you have good. an idea? Okay, so do you know where, like, how long have you been doing this for? Like, when did, when was he We started start Monday. Date? You just started? Yeah. Okay, so there's not really yeah. any, like, No, no, I didn't yet. even check. I was up a pound this week. So <laughs> after this weekend, <laughs> yeah, the novice comp we had because, uh, uh, Throne stayed, Martin stayed. We had a bunch of guys stay. Yeah. You know, we plowed a bunch of pizzas, and uh, yeah. yeah, we got Throne's a little fireballed up. Nice. I like it. Yeah, someone's like, should I post a video? I'm like, that's a video we keep private. <laughs> He's in university. <laughs> <laughs> Throne's, is a, Throne's is a very uh, a clean-cut young man. We don't need crazy videos of him floating around the yeah, internet. Yeah, but boy, did I see a different side of Throne's. That's fun. We were debating politics, religion, evolution. Wow. Um, oh, holy smokes. You guys dude, deep the Bible. The oh, we were... We were Anna's just sitting there like, 
What is happening? Because <laughs> <laughs> I got Pastor Mike there. And we're yeah, de- I heard Pastor Mike was there. And yeah, I yeah he, right. he came back out. Uh, he didn't really tell anybody he was coming out, just me. <laughs> and and his close family. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, he showed up late. Well, he's, he's still around. Um, yeah, so great night. Um, so I'm up some. I'm up some weight, but so. But anyways, <laughs> great Jer- nights normally do that. Jeremy so. Wayne's realtor. <laughs> yeah, speaking of that, Jeremy Wayne's realty. Yeah. Uh, if you need anything from a realtor, not realty. Yeah. If you need anything from him, hit his line. He's yeah. the number one man. He's got a big bench press. He works hard, and he will work hard for you too. You damn right. So um, really fast to to put up. Do you have any more? Sorry. I don't think so. I mean, we could probably talk for a half an hour, but no, we got to wrap this yeah, up. We gotta, it's got to be a short one today, unfortunately. Yeah. So we'll make it up to you guys by talking even more next week. It's got to be a Martin today. A little short one. <laughs> <laughs> short, sweet one. That's what. That's a Martin. Who do we? Yeah, the sweetest, the sweetest and shortest one around. Um, okay, so uh, as written on the board, there we have May twenty fifth. Battle at the Border 2 at Elsie's Hotel in Tolstoy, Manitoba. We started to see a little bit of a boost now in the registration now that the yep. novice competition is over. And I suspect now that we've announced the weights, we'll get even a little more. Yep. Shout out to the branding guys who both just signed up immediately for that one. Oh, yeah, they for, did. For Alan and, and Garrett. They both just signed up right away. Um, and, and there's a few people who did that. And we really do appreciate that. It makes things yep. a little bit easier for us to kind of organize and coordinate. Yep. Um, so get signed up for that one. June 8th. Manitoba's strongest man and woman. All the events are now announced. They're the, announced. The weights are announced. We got to. Oh, yep. we, we didn't get the, the women's weights. We'll, we'll get the women's weights out for that one next week. Well, I think we do one hundred and eighty and three hundred stone summers there for, for everything else though. Yeah, the, the bench, bench the press. Yeah, probably summers around because let's face it, the bench is a bit of a, a bit of a different one, right? Yeah. Because women aren't as great at benches as men overall. Like yeah. in terms of the, yeah, the, the disparity gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck. Can you guys get your benches up, please? Holy Fuck. shit. Um, Grow some boobs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about all show no go. <laughs> <laughs> just let's say just let's joking. say let's say next week we'll have yeah. hard weight stuff yeah. for the ladies. Yeah, I would think somewhere it's the one six five one eighty five reference. I think that's reasonable, and then yeah. like a, a four fifty to five yoke. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah. there you go. Because we'll, some of the benches, like Jocelyn's great bench, are two twenty five. Yeah, she'll be. Uh, awesome. Mara's a decent bench. I don't know how your girls are here. I don't really know either. We don't really yeah. do a lot of bench press. Yeah, so, so it's we'll, going to be we'll it's, that, that one's going to be one that's going to shuffle up the standings. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we have that one. We have uh, July first. July first. We have Vita. The registration is open for Vita now. So yep. if you if you feel like Tolstoy is too close for you, or if you just want to do both, which would be even better, that's what that's comp experience. Sure as hell, what I would have done. Um, we need we need the we need the next Dan for this season who does nineteen shows in a or, yep. or Michelle K who does nineteen shows in one in one yeah, competitive she's season. Yeah, she's doing battle uh, battle of barbarians. Dude, I've seen that. I was, I was I was actually mad. I see her sign up for battle. So we have a good yep. a good Matt Tolstoy representation in that competition. Yep. Um, get signed up for Vita. Um, registration is open for all three of those events. Yep. Um, August third, the the long weekend, we have the Magnus Qualifier in Gimli. Yep. Uh, that one's an application only one, but please come out and check it out. Come and support. Devin's putting on a great show there with the Magnus people. Come out and just like just be a body out there. Let the let them see that there's a, a strong community here of people who want to watch strong men. Yeah. Um, and on August tenth, we have uh provincials. Provincials. We have uh, SCC provincials, which we're also we're going to be kind of like retooling that a little bit to also be. Uh, Manitoba strongest man, women, the weight class stuff, kind of yeah. similar, similar to the way that OSG does it. Yeah. Um, but don't let that be any reason for you not to sign up for the the open uh, Manitoba strongest man and women because I want to yeah. see lots of faces for that one. And then we have September tenth or something for uh, Deadlift for Dreams. I think it's a tenth. So, so that's yeah, a crucial have, one. Yeah, Deadlift for Dreams. That's that one's. It's already going to be coming up. But we won't. Yeah. We won't push that one too hard until we get a little bit closer to it because boy, will we push it hard when we get closer to yeah. it. But uh, I think registration is open for that one for people who have already done it. Or is it just open oh, it, it's account? all open, but they're capping it. It might even—it's it, damn near might be full already. Okay, well, I gotta get signed up because I haven't done that yet. Yeah. So, I, then, so we'll get that. We'll get that registered. Um, but and then Brick also doing an unsanctioned show in September. Or something they haven't confirmed the date yet. Okay. They're gonna do just a fun end of the year type uh, strongman show from what I hear. When we know more about that, we will give you more information yep. about that. And in the meantime, oh fuck, it's eleven oh one. I gotta go. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.